Hey guys, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make some zucchini lasagna. This video today is in collaboration with my friend Emily over at Mama From Scratch. She is also going to share with you a delicious dinner recipe. Hi everyone, my name is Emily, Mama From Scratch. Today I will also be sharing with you a couple different meals Ideas. Now my family likes all different types of food so I'm going to be sharing with you a couple Indian, Thai, Italian, and American dishes so hopefully you will enjoy that and if you aren't familiar with my channel then you may not know but I love to inspire and motivate you so I share lots of DIYs, decorating, lifestyle, and mommy videos so if that is something that you enjoy I hope that I will see you soon and you'll come on over and say hello after watching Lisa's video. So be sure when you're done with my video to head over and visit Emily for her recipe. All right, well, if you know me very well, you know that I am not a big recipe girl. I kind of like to throw things together, and that's pretty much what I did here. I did not even clean my kitchen before coming on here. This is one of those real life dinner needs to be done here in the next 20 minutes, and so I just needed to get it out, and I'm gonna record it in the process. Welcome to my craziness. Speaking of which, <laughs> the thunder outside just woke up my baby, so there's that. Before I feed my family, let me tell you all about how I made this zucchini lasagna. Now, fair warning, if you have a small family, you might want to cut this recipe in half. Like I said, I actually made this for dinner tonight, so it is gonna feed my family of seven and we'll probably actually have some leftovers. I started by shredding 12 ounces of mozzarella cheese. I like to shred my cheese fresh because the kind that comes pre-shredded is coated with something that keeps it from sticking together and then it therefore does not melt very well and I do not like that, I like some nice melty cheese. I also shredded up eight ounces of Parmesan cheese. I browned up two pounds of ground beef and then I sauteed up a whole onion and an eight ounce package of mushrooms. Then I cut my zucchini in about one quarter inch strips. Now you can also use yellow squash. My garden is kind of full of zucchini right now, so I'm trying to use it up, which is what inspired this recipe. I just had a 24 ounce jar of organic tomato basil pasta sauce from Aldi. And I mixed the sauce up with the meat and the mushrooms and the onions in a large cast iron skillet. For the Parmesan cheese, I mixed it with two cups of cottage cheese and two eggs. Now, usually lasagna recipes call for ricotta. I've always used cottage cheese one, because I can find it organic at the store and I can't find ricotta organic. Two, it's way cheaper. So that is the route I like to go. To assemble the lasagna, I put down a little bit of the sauce mixture, add on some of the sliced zucchini, about a half a teaspoon of salt to flavor the zucchini, a little more sauce, half of the cottage cheese mixture, half of the shredded mozzarella cheese, and then I repeat. I put it all in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes or until it's nice and golden and melted. Also, I'm gonna throw some fresh basil on top from the garden. I'm gonna run out and grab that. You'll want to let it sit for probably about 10 minutes before serving it because everything wants to fall apart. If you try to pull it out right away, you want those cheeses to sort of cool a little bit. The longer the better. So this would be a great make-ahead meal. If you make it around 10, say for lunch at noon, that'd be great, or maybe Right when the kids are down for nap in the afternoon, you could make it and then let it sit out till about a five o'clock dinner time. That'd probably be perfect. We are going to get to eating because it is just one of those nights here. And I'm so glad that you joined me. I hope you enjoy this recipe and we're gonna enjoy our dinner. If you're new here, if you're coming over from Emily's channel, welcome. I would love to have you following along. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse.